Well, call it an engineering oops. A big stretch of road restriping project the city just finished will now have to be redone. And it likely could have been avoided. News 13's Chris McKee is live at Gerard and Lomas to explain the problem. Yeah, Jessica and Dean, the problem is pretty obvious, and we want to show it to you right here. The bike lane here on Girard is way too narrow. You can see it doesn't even fit the cyclist symbol in. We've measured this section just 22 inches wide. Now, the city says that problem is too dangerous to ignore. I definitely noticed it. It's very clear. I mean, it would be great if they can fix it. Even to the kids. I have to focus more. There's something wrong with this freshly paved and restriped section of Girard. I know that I have a couple of buddies who are a little bummed about the size of the lane. Nearly a mile of the northbound bike lane on Girard between Lomas and Indian School is so narrow, crews had to cut out space so the bike symbol would fit. The city now says it's dangerous. What is out there right now is is not a good situation. Municipal Development Director Melissa Lozoya says bike and parking lanes were added to Girard this summer as part of the new Complete Streets Ordinance. We want to be able to incorporate all modes of transportation. But this leg of Girard's northbound bike lane is just two to three feet wide in some places, roughly half of what it should be. So what happened? The city says its engineering staff and private consulting group T.Y. Lynn mistakenly thought the street was a few feet wider than it actually is. The team responsible didn't measure the road in the field. Instead, they trusted rough measurements from aerial photographs. A lot of times the, the photos aren't, I mean, they're hard to see exactly where the curb line is and where the gutter pan is. The city says it will have to pay to restripe the road, which could include getting rid of the small bike lane. They're also working to make sure this doesn't happen again. Especially our younger engineers to make sure that, you know, we use this as a lessons learned and moving forward and we are checking the work as it progresses in the field. Now, municipal development says it's taking public comment on just how exactly they should restripe this road so they don't know exactly how much this whole thing will cost. And they're planning to do this project, though, in the next few months. We should note as well that we did hear from a few cyclists on this road who said, well, it is narrow. They do appreciate finally having a bike lane here. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Chris. The city doesn't have a dollar figure yet on repairs, but the whole paving and striping project on Girard from Lomas to Indian School cost $140,000.